I'm making a video now about uh, Rh negative blood and COVID-19, the coronavirus, because this seems to be extremely of extreme interest, of very extreme interest. And I can only encourage those of you who haven't done so yet to look up uh, coronavirus or COVID-19 on rhesusnegative.net. That's my website. Because I have posted the studies. I have posted what we have so far and it's not a lot. It is the study from New York Presbyterian showing uh, in that study, out of the 47 uh, COVID patients, uh, well, you will see the study, and it is uh, a significant one. But now I'm also looking online, and it says, according to Harvard Medical School, blood type is not associated with the severe worsening of symptoms in people who have tested positive for COVID-19. Now. I can only encourage you guys to once again look at all of the studies that are available. And I want to mention to you that though there are indicators that Rh negative people may be doing better with uh, illnesses or diseases that come from um, of viral origin it's not does these studies when you look at dengue fever or West Nile virus for example there are exceptions there seem to be exceptions and even though the studies that show them as exceptions are small that also makes you wonder uh, you need to put into perspective that many of the other studies are small as well. So the question is really why is there not more funding available to examine whether or not there is uh, something to it when you say uh, you know blood type and um, likelihood to get infected, develop a disease and then possibly die is associated with the Rh factor. You know the important thing is to look at it so a lot of these YouTube channels have been taken down for um, talking about it in a definitive manner so I will not do that because you can read and you have a mind and especially if you are Rh negative you can do that yourself but I encourage you very very strongly to be careful where you look so if you decide to go out somewhere and go on Facebook and randomly look up some things chances are there's a more than 80% chance that whatever you're gonna read is gonna be complete nonsense it can be based on something that is factual and then made into something. The next thing you'll know, you're immune because you're an alien and all of that. By the way, resistance and immunity is completely different from each other. Let's make that very, very clear. There are people, for example, in the world who are immune to HIV. And it's a very small percentage, but there are certain genetics, genetic codes, certain genes that they carry. And so when I examined why there is a smaller percentage of Rh negative people showing in many of the studies related to HIV as patients, uh, it's possible that Rh negative people based on ancestry, uh, on, a likelier, on a higher likelihood of a certain ancestry, are more likely also to carry these genes. It wouldn't be the blood that makes you uh, resistant. It would be an association between the blood type and ancestry. And that's what we're often dealing with. So we got to be very careful. That would mean that there are very, very few Rh negative people who might be immune. But the majority may not be at all. Because 
we also have to remember the studies are mainly from Africa and India and partial D is very very high in Africa partial D so you can actually be categorized as a D negative when in reality you are partial D so you gotta examine also um, are you really RH is the D really completely absent and in Asia it is the same way with I believe it's a weak D right something like that so people uh, India is really like the doorway between many different worlds so when you have a lower percentage of RH negatives among HIV patients, then you need to also think about who are these D negative HIV patients. Are they actually, um, is the D actually absent or is it a weak D or is it a partial D? It's very important uh, to decide. However, there is, of course, the likelihood that the absence of the D protein um, makes it harder for a virus to attach to us. That is a possibility. But I'm encouraging you all to look at these studies and realize that you can never assume immunity, especially with HIV. Don't assume immunity. If you're less likely to get something, you can still get it. Now, when I'm talking, when I'm looking at the whole blood type thing, the O versus the A, you know, O uh, is said to have a protective functioning against COVID-19. Well, what does that mean? Are we talking about 20% ranges or 40% ranges? Well, it's something like that. Okay? That's not a lot. It is a lot in terms of a scientific indication that there's something to examine further but what it means in your everyday life is not a lot it's nothing really it's absolutely nothing you know if you are half as likely uh, you know if you play Russian roulette and somebody says to you you know what man there are eight uh, rounds, eight uh, sluts. Uh, I put two bullets in mine and you only one in yours. So I'm more likely to die. And let's all have one shot and see how it works. Don't worry, man. You, are, you should... Would you do that? Would you say, okay, I'm gonna go out now. You have eight rounds and you're... Uh, we all have, we have eight rounds each. You have two or two cha eight chambers, right? And <laughs> you have uh, two bullets in your cha your chambers in your eight chambers. You have two bullets in your gun. I have one. Okay, let's both shoot. And tw you're twice as likely to die than me. And let's bet some money on that. Would you do that? Think about that because. The moment uh, that you assume something, of course, chikungunya is a different story, but mind you also, that was a very significant study that shows a family of, I think, 28 people, everyone O positive except one who's O negative. And all of them have chikungunya and the O negative doesn't have it. And overall, the study, I think it's a couple hundred people or 300 people, and the negatives are, that, that is a very significant study that showed, that indicates very strongly that uh, people with RH negative blood are resistant to chikungunya. And that in a whole supports the other indicators that we may do better against viral infections. However, everything else, also some cancers, we are not doing well as RH negative people and the most most important thing is that we actually uh, do our best on an everyday basis no matter what epidemic pandemic whatever is going on that we eat fresh and natural food and listen to our own bodies our own cravings stay away from foods that have artificial flavoring because our natural cravings can be 
manipulated by these artificial flavors where you eat a bag of potato chips, chips because you crave the onion and the paprika taste, not the actual chip. So, you know, I'm, I'm posting sometimes images. I will probably use that image maybe even for this video where uh, the pineapple slices and salmon on top with some, uh, how you say, uh, that butter, that Swiss type of butter, you know, that's really, really, there is unbelievably amazing food that we can make that doesn't require artificial flavoring. And it always bothers me when people eat so unhealthy and they uh, budget themselves when it comes to food. But when it comes to cigarettes and going out to drink, whatever, they seem to have extra money. Also money to leave a big tip. But when they go to the supermarket, they couponing it up and everybody has to wait in line forever. And we, I, I was a manager at one of those places and I remember how people were as greedy as can be with pennies. And then they go out at night and they want to show off and they throw money around and they always have... But when it comes to food items, come on, man. So don't be uh anything can happen at any time you can get into contact with somebody you know it takes one person and you protect yourself but don't drive yourself crazy get into a habit of life that you're comfortable with you know and don't uh Listen to the panickers or people who tell you that you shouldn't worry, you know, at all. That's not a good thing, man. You know, you need to follow your instinct. If you are arch negative and you're listening to this, I hope you got a little something out of it. Again, with this negative.net, we have a forum now. You can join. You can join our blood type dating site. You can. Uh, if you're bored at home, if you don't have, you know, if you want to reach out to other RH negative people worldwide, feel free to join us. But um, don't make anything worse. You know what? Things are never so bad that they cannot get worse. Remember that. And the fact that you have found my video shows me that maybe. You could be one of these people that will help find solutions. And solutions, I mean, on every single level. Quality of life is important. You know what I mean? Even whenever, if the pandemic is going to be over, what's our quality of life? What are Irish negative people going to do? All of these health differences that I'm talking about, they are, many of them are avoidable, very avoidable. We just have this very strong defense system it seems and that reacts strongly to any kind of intrusion via allergies what have you embrace that embrace who you are embrace what you are born with it's not a deficit whatever sensitivity you have it's not a deficit listen to it we listen so much to everybody to other people to the news to have minded teachers uh, whoever is put in front of us who doesn't have the answers what we need are answers if you watch any of my other videos you will see most of it is question related you know and, and i had questions my whole life i'd be happy to share the answers when i get them and i'm very thankful but i need you guys also to stay away from any of those channels that misinform you at least don't spread this misinformation you know, don't assume that somebody found out something great and you look smart or doing anybody, everybody a favor by sharing it. Unless you examine something, stay away from it. You know, look up a few things on your own. If somebody makes a claim, you know, don't just go Google first page, but look deeper. Look at actual studies and look what they say. And sometimes you're on the right track, but sometimes you realize that Either you being lied to or somebody who means well was lied to. Thank you everybody for watching. My name is Mike the Man. My website is stillresusnegative.net and I see you in my next video.